The excitement surrounding Uganda's fast oil production by 2025 is steadily fading as the country now faces the reality of delays in realizing the proceeds from its crude oil reserves. But why has the timeline shifted? Much as the, 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 we have the rigs drilling, they are not pulling out oil because we did not plan for storage of crude. No, we didn't plan for that. We planned for the central processing facilities to do the primary processing and then the pipes that are being laid to take to the refinery and the crude oil. Okay, pump station number one in Hoima, that meter with a meter, metering how much crude is going to the refinery, how much crude is going to the East African crude oil pipeline. Minus those critical infrastructure, the refinery, and the crude oil pipeline. You cannot talk about seeing fast oil in 2025. Dr. Ruth Nankabirwa, the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, attributes the delay to a mix of challenges, including the complexity of project execution and global concerns over climate change, which have presented financing hurdles. Because of the unfairness of some of the climate change activists, our projects suffered. They delayed. Our midstream projects delayed and yet they facilitate the upstream development. The financing structure of the project has also undergone a significant shift with the equity to debt ratio moving from the original 40 to 60 to a new 52-48 split favoring the financiers. As a matter of principle, we have increased the equity. Okay? And... Um, <coughs> The, 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 the recent one was uh, 45 million US dollars for Tanzania and for Uganda. And uh, total, of course, gives in much more because their shareholding is 62%, ours is 15%, Tanzania 15%, Sinoc is 8%. So we put in according to our shareholding. The government now projects the start of commercial oil production to be pushed to 2027, marking a two-year delay from the previously targeted date of late 2025. So Ugandans have to bear with us. We wanted very much to have the first oil next year, 2025. But I'll be deceiving myself. Dennis Igor for UBC News.